Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe, and in this video I'll explain how to increase the y-axis scale of a bar plot using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the example data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object appears which is called data. And if you click on this data frame object you can see that a new window appears which is showing the structure of our data. And as you can see our data frame contains five rows and two columns whereby the first column is showing the groups of our bar plot and the second column is showing the y-axis values of our bar plot. So if we want to draw these data using the basic installation of the R programming language, then we can apply the bar plot function as you can see in line five of the code. And within the bar plot function, we simply need to specify the name of our data frame and the y-axis values in our data. So if you run line 5 of the code, you can see that a new bar plot is created at the bottom right of RStudio. And as you can see, the default axis is ranging from 0 to the height of the highest bar of our bar plot. So let's assume that we want to increase the height of our y-axis. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 7 and 8. So in these lines of code, I'm again using the bar plot function and I'm applying this function to our y-axis values. And then I'm in addition to the previous code specifying the ylim argument, as you can see in line eight of the code. And in this case, I'm setting the ylim argument to a vector of zero and 15. So the first value in this vector is the lower limit of our y-axis and the second value in this vector is the upper limit of the y-axis. So if you run lines 7 and 8 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated and this time the height of our bar plot has been increased so that the highest value on the y-axis is 15. So in this first example I have explained how to increase the y-axis scale of a bar plot created by the basic installation of the R programming language. However, it is also possible to increase the y-axis scale of a ggplot2 bar plot, and this is what I want to show you in the second example of this video. So if you want to draw a ggplot2 bar plot with a ggplot2 package, then we first need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 10 and 11 of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 11 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geombar. So if you run lines 13 and 14 of the code, a new plot object is created at the top right of RStudio, which is called ggp. And we can draw the content of this plot object to RStudio by running line 15 of the code. And after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that we have created a new ggplot2 bar plot. However, you can also see that by default, the height of this bar plot is equal to the highest bar in our bar plot. So similar to the first example, the height of the y-axis is approximately at the value seven. So let's assume that we want to increase the size of this y-axis scale in our ggplot2 bar plot. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 17 and 18 of the code. So as basement, I'm using the plot object that I have created before. And then I'm adding to this the ylim function. And within the ylim function, I have again to specify two values. And the first value is the lower limit. And the second value is the upper limit of our y-axis. So if you run lines 17 and 18 of the code, our plot is updated. So as you can see at the bottom right, the second version of our ggplot2 plot shows a y-axis scale ranging from 0 to 15. So in this video I have explained how to change the y-axis scale of a bar plot using the basic installation of the R programming language and the ggplot2 package. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. 
Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments or if you give me a thumbs up on the video. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.